Okay, so during the recent charity stream, I had a bunch of uh, stretch goals set up to raise money for children's hospitals, and we met lots of them. One of them was I had to grow a beard, and one of them was uh, I would play a dating sim. Now, this, da this dating sim uh, is the one I have chosen. I love you, Colonel Sanders, a finger-licking good dating simulator. When you open it up, the opening screen is deafening, and the volume control doesn't work on it, so I am just going to skip it. So I'm going to show you the opening screen right here. All right, no, 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 once is enough, thank you. Okay, this is supposed to be an hour and a half to two hour long game. Let's go for a romancing speed run. Let's get this done. Let's get this done, KFC please. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm hitting buttons. I told you, the volume control doesn't work on the opening. Okay, there, all right, we're past it, we're past it. Yeah, I found that out earlier today, all right. I mentally brace myself for this. Okay, the only other game cons sort of close to a dating sim I've ever played was Doki Doki Literature Club, but that was a psychological horror disguised as a dating sim. Very different thing. Very different thing. All right, here we go. <sighs> New game. Tell us your name. <laughs> <laughs> I hope this comes up in conversations. Ah. <laughs> uh. <clears throat> Why do we have a picture of a chicken and barbecue? <laughs> We're off to a great start. What is this? Is this a boy band? What is this? You sleep softly as the morning sun casts a warm glow through the window of your modest student apartment. The world is peaceful and serene. You could stay in the moment forever. Or you could wake up now, now, now. Your first day of culinary school is no time to sleep in. <laughs> Throw the clock out the window and stay in bed. You sleep through the whole school year and gave up on the once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to meet Colonel Sanders. <laughs> Speed run. We're done. We're done. Game over. Uh, you might not be cut out for this. World record, chat. You saw it here. You saw it here. Smash that clock. Up and at him. Lying in bed, you stare at the ceiling, thinking about everything that awaits you at the prestigious University of Cooking School Academy for Learning. Your mind begins to wander. Who will be there? What will you cook? What should you wear? Time begins to fly by and you find your imagination getting away from you. Allow yourself to daydream a bit and think about the future. It's here. Finally, your first day of culinary school. So many dishes to prepare. So many students to meet. Your mind is swimming with possibilities when you realize you're running late. You grab a biscuit <laughs> and burst out the door in a hurry. Please show me running with the biscuit in my mouth. Mmm, delicious. Just what you needed to wake up those taste buds. Yikes, you're in such a hurry, in fact, you forgot to put on any deodorant before running out the door. You're sweating buckets as you rush to arrive on time. Uh-oh. <laughs> Standing in the quad, you gaze upon the magnificent University of Cooking School Academy for Learning. Here comes your lifelong best friend forever, Miriam. She's the... <laughs> she's the most adorably awkward person you've ever met, and you're absolutely love her for it. Good morning, Daddy... <laughs> I forgot. I had already forgotten. <laughs> I had already forgotten. <laughs> Are you... 
<laughs> Are you excited for the first day of the rest of our lives? Actually, I... Because I sure am. Excited? A little nervous? Okay, okay. A lot nervous. <laughs> What's the... It's just that this morning, I made breakfast for myself, but, well, when I ate it, I couldn't taste any love in the food. What if I'm no good? What if I fail? Classic Miriam. Raised by Master Chef parents, she's always held herself to a very high standard. <laughs> Ever since we were little babies playing together, and you rescued me from that quicksand <laughs> It's been clear to me you're the most loving, caring person I know. You're going to do great. Yo, she saved me as a baby. Oh my gosh. But with University Cooking School Academy for... Um, okay, imagine the other students. You make Guild Wars 2 <sighs> so fun and awesome. I didn't today, but thank you. Imagine the other students walking to class and they see her doing this JoJo pose and crying in the, in the freaking front lawn. But with the University of Cooking School Academy for Learning's famous three-day only semesters, I'm afraid of being left behind and never catching up. A sweet girl, Miriam has always had a flair for the dramatic. This summer, she got so nervous about her first kiss that she chipped a tooth practicing on a mannequin. <laughs> okay, you needed the practice if you somehow chipped a tooth kissing. Uh, you're, you're not supposed to go rushing at that mannequin like you're a beaver building a dam. Uh, you're, you, you keep those chompers pulled in. That's a tip if any of you needed it. Oh my god. Should you pep talk her or change the subject to give her some relief? Pep talk. <laughs> Remember last month when we saw that fortune teller and had our tarot cards read? The lady with the mask who gave me nightmares? I've been trying to forget. I know she looked spooky, but she was so sweet, and she told you that you were destined for great things. Remember that card with the fancy-looking tower, and that other card featuring the handsome fellow in the red suit? I've been waiting so long to meet a handsome fellow I could call my own! <laughs> I'm sure you will soon! I, I like how I, I'm, there's no option to be like, it, it was me all along. It's like, yeah, I'm sure you will. Stay over there. Uh, I'm In no time, we'll be graduating, and you'll be delighting the world with your heartfelt cooking in no time at all. As you talk Miriam up, you could feel her nerves begin to ease. You know what? Maybe everything will be okay after all. And if not, at least I have these killer bangs. <laughs> yeah, they're all right. <laughs> Can you believe I cut them myself? Yeah. You can definitely believe it. <laughs> uh, I cannot believe it. <laughs> Before... Hang on a second. I just realized that I'm covering some of the words. We're gonna we're gonna slide over here and we're gonna hang out in the corner. All right. Before you can get another word out, you're rudely interrupted when someone smacks your books and custom engraved measuring spoons out of your hands and onto the ground. Hey, it's Ashley. Oh my God! Did her parents spell it like that? Ugh. It's Aish Lake, your arch rival. She's totally evil, but you can't help but be filled with jealousy. She can get anything she wants, and she knows it. Hello, Ashley Egg. Oh, I didn't see you there, chicken shins. You leave Daddy Mucklucks shins alone. <laughs> they are perfectly normal shins. Ugh, you can't stand Ashley Egg. Even her name is annoying, it really is. You know for a, fa a fact that it's actually Ashley, but she had to add extra letters to make herself feel better than everyone. If anyone here knows what perfect shins look like, it's us. <laughs> well, we're not going to let you or your weird, really weird insults get to us. Across the quad, you see Ashley Egg's best friend, Van Van the Man Man, <laughs> stop to look at his own reflection in the mirror. His pants are so tight that you can see him casually working out his glutes while he styles his, styles his hair. No lie, they're rocking glutes. <laughs> yo, our guys equal opportunity, chat. Ahem. Van Van, yo, that look. Yo, this woman's a serial killer. Also, chat, you see this? 
you see this little indentation right here where the uh the, the top of the thigh high is pulling in uh that 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 is my religion and i'd like to share that with y'all gotta you know give you a message from our lord and savior this right here ahem van van you rang right <laughs> <laughs> oh my, what is this? What is this taped on shirt? What is this taped on shirt? You've never been sure what their arrangement is, but as long as you've known them, Ashley Egg and Van Van have just been as close as you and Miriam, but substantially more devious. I can't believe that University of Cooking School Academy for Learning would ever allow people like you to attend as students. I just noticed her, her, her thigh highs have like chicken leg cutouts. I know, right? You'd think they just hand us our diplomas now. Dude, his hair makes a star. Or maybe hire us as professionals. That's Van Van's voice, by the way. You amateurs could learn a lot from us. With the first day of school about to start, there's just not time to properly tell these two off, so you resist the urge. Have I picked up my custom engraved culinary measuring spoons yet? Let's go, Miriam. Psh, see you later, losers. <laughs> As you... <laughs> this is like a Cabbage Patch Kid. As you approach the door, you see a goofy-looking kid pushing hard against the window directly next to it. <laughs> the window? <laughs> Did you just fart? <laughs> Oopsie. I think it's broken. You reach forward and easily pull the door open. Uh, that should do the trick. Oh, I love you. I get that a lot. I think you mean thank you. My name is Pop. I was named after my Pop. Pop. He's old. Could someone like this also be a student at the school? He must be one heck of a chef. Also, his name tag clearly says Bob, but I guess he's reading it upside down. He's reading his own name tag upside down. One second, chat. Hey, dude, is it your bedtime? Okay, just a moment. Okay, all right, we're back. Uh... <laughs> Hi, Pop. I'm Daddy Mucklock. So, are you going to make me hold this door all day? <laughs> nope! And with that, the young man walks into the building ahead of you. Is it just me, or is he kind of cute? It's just you. I think it's just you. Yo, me and my character, we... We know what's up. You both shrug your shoulders before following him into the building. All right, what do we got in here? Who's this? You stand at the edge of the room, unsure where to sit. Yeah, there's like, <laughs> like chip and chicken, chicken, uh, chicken bucket up here. You stand at the edge of the room, unsure where to sit. Other students wander in and keep themselves busy chit-chatting. <laughs> Chat, this is my goal. We're gonna date the we're, we're 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 gonna date this uh this handsome looking individual. This is our objective. A scruffy looking pooch takes his place at a podium at the front of the class. Adorable. Now now, quiet down, everyone. Who is this unreasonably cute pup, and why is he in our culinary class? Better question: Why are you striking this pose while you talk? You must be Sprinkles, head instructor and CEO of UCSAL. Muck like furry confirmed? No, I just, look, I've seen the selection and I think a plutonic relationship with the, uh, with the dog chef is the best option. It's the best option. Like, it, it's the, you know, the, the, who's the last person we met? The guy farting at a door? A window. The guy farting pushing on a window. Please call me Professor Dog. I may be cute and a little fluffy, but I still demand respect. Woof. 
What? A cute dog is our professor? This is the best school ever. I guess only a dog's nose is capable of picking up all the nuances of fine dining. Out of nowhere, wind begins to rush around you and a swirl of cherry blossom petals fill the air inside the classroom. What? I'm chilly. Someone close the window. And then... He walks in. <laughs> Yo, okay. So the colonel has a cherry blossom infusion? Is that what I'm getting out of this? You're immediately swept up in the aura of this new student and his remarkable goatee. <laughs> Who knew anyone could be so handsome? Time stands still. Maybe I should do that with the beard chat. Just shave everything but, uh, but the, the parts that make the colonel the colonel. <gasps> it's him! It's... If it isn't my favorite student, Harland. Colonel Sanders interrupts Sprinkles, sorry, Professor Dog, before he can finish his sentence. Please, call me Colonel. <laughs> Colonel Sanders. <laughs> okay, James Bond. <laughs> A hushed murmur rolls through the classroom. I gotta say, I was expecting the Colonel to be like the, the principal or something. I thought it was his school. <laughs> A hushed murmur rolls through the classroom as Colonel Sanders walks down the aisle of desks. Suddenly, the room is sweltering. Sweat begins to bead across your brow. You feel like everyone is looking at you, and you're not entirely wrong. <laughs> Ashley Egg. And this over here must be sweaty sweats a lot. Oh, that's right, we don't have deodorant. <laughs> We're probably stinging. Oh my gosh. Maybe we should open that window back up before faucet pits melts into a puddle and evaporates entirely. Hold on just a second. Nobody talks to my friend like that. You two both know my name, and we're, we were in the same kindergarten class. And what is it with all your really weird insults? Besides, when Daddy Mucklock sweats... <laughs> it's not gross. <laughs> it's beautiful! <laughs> Look at that shimmer! <laughs> you turn to find Colonel Sanders standing right in front of you. <laughs> Colonel Sanders, beautiful angel that he is, stands before you, smiling gently, his hand outstretched. Boy, howdy, this classroom gets hotter than a Kentucky fryer. <laughs> Please, use my handkerchief. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna shove this handkerchief into my pits. You free <laughs> You freeze up. Colonel Sanders is talking to you. Wait, Colonel Sanders is talking to you? About how sweaty you look? You're completely mortified. This can't be your first interaction. What if he never forgets this moment? How will you respond? I'm not so prideful to refuse it. Take the handkerchief. You stretch out your hand, and Colonel Sanders places a fine silk handkerchief in it. It's so beautiful, you hesitate to press it to your face. But when you do, the feeling is transcendent. It has his natural scent on it. <laughs> it smells of the most delicious chicken you've ever smelled. His natural scent is chicken. <laughs> uh. Professor Dog steps in to settle the class down and set some ground rules. Welcome to University of Cooking School, Academy for Learning, the greatest culinary academy in the world. The birthplace of culinary legends past, present, and future. Many challenges await you. There will be tears. There will be blood. What? There might even be really adorable tiny food. And when all is said and done, there will be a battle. You will lift your sparks and complete in a broom cooking arena. <laughs> oh god. Just then, another student enters the classroom and interrupts the professor's rousing speech. <laughs> that, they, the budget ran out. Hi guys, sorry I'm late. I hope everyone had a good summer. I really miss... Quiet! Late to class is bad enough, but interrupting my monologue? You're on the fast track out of here, young man. Are you sure you're even in the right place? 
Don't you recognize me? This is my third year in, a, in the school with you as my teacher. Everyone stares at him blankly. Does no one remember me? I'm... You're expelled if you utter one more word before I finish. Oh my gosh, I feel bad. Let them be a lesson to you students that tardiness is unacceptable. Even Clank made it here on time, rolling halfway across town on his tiny wheels. You turn to see the student Sprinkles is referencing, who appears to be some sort of industrial kitchen appliance. <laughs> Bzzdewer. The class bursts into laughter. Oh, Clank, you rascal. Never mind. All right, I'm dating Clank. Sprinkles walks in the classroom as everyone stands in silent obedience. When he gets to you, he lifts his nose into the air and takes a deep sniff. Yo, 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 privacy? Hmm, your diet is lacking. Based on what I'm picking up here, you definitely need a multivitamin. You should be taking better care of yourself. You've never had a talking dog as a teacher before, but Sprinkles' reputation for being smart but tough is well known. You decide to try and butter him up by giving him a treat from your pocket, but what kind? I mean, it's a KFC game. Chicken snack. You reach beneath your apron and return with a chicken snack. Where was I keeping this? <laughs> but in your hand, Sprinkles' eyes go wide as he locks onto it. His favorite. Well, well, well. I think there might be some competition for New Star Student. The furry professor immediately devours the snack, leaving your hands slick with a coating of warm doggy drool. You see the other students eyeing you jealously. Yeah, they want drool. But pay no mind to them. If they wanted to succeed in life, they should have learned the importance of carrying a range of dog treat flavors on them at all times. <laughs> Never leave the house without your doggy snack box, Jack. Settle down, young chefs. Take your seats and prepare to have your minds open to the amazing possibilities of culinary creation. As everyone rushes to claim their favorite seats, you're left standing at the front of the room. Only two options remain. Hey, Daddy Mucklock, there's still a seat here. It seems no one has claimed the seat next to me, if you're interested. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh man, oh man, do we, is it, do we, do we, do we sit by our best friend since she saved our life as a baby from a quicksand sandbox, or do we go over by the colonel? Alright, are we immediately going to just leave our best friend high and dry after one look at the colonel? There is not a single person in chat saying best friend, holy cow. All right, sit by the Colonel. You move to take your seat by Colonel Sanders. It appears he brought no books, pens, or pencils. However, his perfect upright posture shows off a seriousness that makes you confident in his desire to learn. Thanks for offering me this seat. I only have two rules. Do all you can and do it the best you can. It's the only way you ever get that feeling of accomplishing something. That's so inspiring. <laughs> A little off topic, if you ask me, but okay. As soon as you've settled into your seat, the professor makes an announcement. Think fast! It's time for a pop quiz. Yay! A quiz about me! Oh, that's right, your name is Pop. This incredibly important and surprisingly short quiz will tell me if you are ready for life at culinary school. Keep your knives sharp and your focus sharper. Here comes question one. If train A is traveling to point B, and train B is traveling to point A, how important is it to wash your hands before cooking? Extremely. That's right. Forest is to tree as chicken is to... <laughs> Night vision goggles, what the muck? Um, feather. That's right. What is the most efficient eating utensil ever created? It's gotta be spork, because KFC has sporks. That's right! What food is best for a broken heart? Anything, as long as it's prepared with love and not too much salt. That's right! Is Sprinkles a good boy? He's a talking dog that teaches at culinary school. He is the best boy! That's right! Your total score is perfect. Wow, be honest, did you cheat? 
You look up to see that Colonel Sanders has been watching you tally your score. He's impressed. I know we just met, but I have to confess. I think you have a beautiful brain. <laughs> Please don't cook I my brain. I came here for waffles! <laughs> That's not true, I came here for chicken. <laughs> Hot diggity daddy mucklock, you just... <laughs> Tickety daddy muck luck, you just scored some major Colonel Sanders points for that performance. <laughs> May I have your attention, students? I have an important announcement to make. Time for lunch. <laughs> wow, the cafeteria is as nice as any restaurant you've ever eaten at. You are tearing me apart, Lisa! <laughs> it makes sense that a school dedicated to cooking would also be serious about eating. A delicious fragrance wafts through the room and tickles the end of your nose. Your mouth waters. Do you smell that? That must be our lunch. It smells crazy good. Everyone, can I have your attention? Is it about lunch? No, I just wanted to apologize for my tardiness. You see, I was... Howdy, folks. I'd like to make an announcement. Do <laughs> you feel so bad for this guy? <laughs> hey, I was... It's about lunch. Everyone cheers. <laughs> Panai. Shh. Lunch, lunch, lunch. She said, shh. In honor of the new semester, I've prepared something special to share with everyone for lunch. Uh -huh. That must be the smell I smelled. Indeed, that smell. You hold your breath, waiting to see what food this mysterious student has created. You've heard that he's very talented, but were the rumors true? Is this? <laughs> Colonel Sanders lifts a large bucket above his head. Its contents glimmer in the light. Piled high are huge pieces of chicken, breaded and fried to a crispy golden finish. The aroma envelops you and you begin to feel warm and safe. I'm just imagining going through the KFC drive-thru and taking the bucket from them and being like, I feel so warm. And they're like, sir, please pull forward. And you're like, and safe. <laughs> like, please pull forward. <laughs> Colonel Sanders has filled a bucket with chicken? What a novel concept. Your stomach begins to grumble as if to say, stop thinking, start eating. For years, I've been developing a secret recipe for the perfect fried chicken. By my calculation, nothing less than 11 herbs and spices are required to achieve the perfect balance of flavors. You look around and notice that every other student has a pen and paper and is scribbling notes as fast as they can. But that's all I'll say about that. What? You think we want your stupid secret recipe, dude? Pshaw! No, my dude. No. It. I'm just, uh... Drafting a last will and testament in case uh, one of those ingredients is poison. <laughs> Got him! <laughs> he looks around nervously to see if anyone else is laughing at his sick burn. <laughs> Look at his face. <laughs> you wait to see what zinger Ashley Egg has prepared to follow up, but she suddenly takes a different approach. Yeah, and I was just like, writing it in my diary. Dear Diary, today I smelled something beautiful. I knew at that moment that only the hands of a true gentleman could fry chicken. So tender. You see her body language change from bitter and evil to sweet and innocent as she slides closer to Colonel Sanders. She realizes that she, he is destined for greatness and fame with cooking skills like this. She wants him all to herself. Oh, look out, Van Van. Oh, please. Well, Van Van the Man Man, if you don't want any. I'll take his! <laughs> Whoa, hold on. I mean, I guess I'll try it. He takes one bite and his eyes grow- Yo, his, his hair just shot up. His eyes grow wide. He starts contorting his face as he tries to hold in his pure exhilaration and act unimpressed. Easy now. There's enough for everyone. Please, my fellow classmates, dig in. You take one of the pieces of fried chicken out of his- bucket and sink your teeth into it. It's amazing. <laughs> We're seeing the cosmos. Is anyone else getting ads every five minutes? 
Uh, Twitch is supposed to play a couple ads every half hour, not every five minutes. <coughs> uh, tasting Colonel Sanders' food transports you to another dimension. Alone with your taste buds, gripping a drum